Hi. In this video we will go through some things that are important in preparing the space in which you work. There is not a perfect recipe that will magically make everything work. But you can consider some things when preparing a better online experience for your participants and make you look more professional. Like previously mentioned it's important to remember to not sit too close in front of the camera and don't sit too far away. Find the comfort zone and stick in it. Your face should be clearly visible and take more or less two thirds of the screen, unless you are not just talking. It shouldn't look like you're broadcasting from a dingy basement or a messy room. If you can remove distractions like these, you'll help your participants to apply their focus in the right way. See that there are as little distractions as possible behind you. Posters and pictures all grab our attention. A boring white wall is better than a kitchen counter in the background. Every distraction less means less energy for you to spend grabbing the focus. You can use a one color sheet for your background or, if you can, choose a virtual background, but use one as plain and easy on the eyes as you can. Next thing to talk about is the lightning. You can push the brightness of your monitor to full and it will help light your face. If the background has more light than your face, you can take a small lamp and position it near your monitor. Try to play with how close the light should be for you to look the best. If you are in front of a camera a lot, you will achieve the best results for a small price if you invest in a ring light that lights your face evenly. If you want to step up your game in streaming to have full control of what is streamed to your audience, you can use a streaming app. OBS, which stands for Open Broadcaster Software, is a free and open source software for video recording and live streaming. One of many that you can dive into and use to up your game. This will let you embed logos in your videos, animations and much more. We should not forget about physical props. We live in a world where everything seems to take a digital form and sometimes forget that real objects can complement our digital experience. Use your globe to show something, draw something on a piece of paper. You could have a board or a flip chart to help you present your content. One camera can shoot you standing in front of a flip chart, like this. And one could be used to see better what you are writing down on a board. Then you could easily switch the cameras. On Zoom you can do that by pressing the Alt key and the letter N, but you can easily search for other useful hotkeys for the app that you are using. Our last tip. Search on YouTube for people that present themselves in a way you would like to be viewed, and steal some great ideas. We can make great steps with some small details, if we only take the time to learn to pay attention to them. I hope this video helped you with what you do or inspired you to try something different. If you know of someone that something in these videos would make their job easier, share the video with them. And if you have some solutions you find useful that could help others, please share them with the community in the comments so we all can benefit from each other's experiences. And thank you for making this world a better place. Bye.